Listen, y'all, I am in my Taylor Swift era. Your girl is rediscovering her Swifty ways. T-Swizzle has taken over my life. My gym playlist right now is just the Eras Tour. So in honor of that, today we are building a house in The Sims 4, but every room is a different Taylor Swift era. So let's do it. All right, here is the shell that we're starting with. I just put some windows places. Here's the floor plan for the bottom. We have the entryway right here. This is supposed to be a pantry. I'll most likely just expand the kitchen into that corner. But this is the kitchen, dining room, living room, a mud room, powder room, covered porch. Upstairs, we have open to the living room, bathroom, two bedrooms right here, another bedroom right here, the master bedroom, the master bathroom. And again, this is supposed to be a laundry room, but we'll see if we end up doing that or if I just expand the master bathroom. And here we have our handy dandy little spinny wheel. So for the exterior, we are going to go ahead and do a little spin. Folklore, let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's gonna be so fun. So many plants. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm feeling either like a beige or a white. You like this guy? Then brown accents and green accents. Maybe brown for the roof. Possibly this guy. I kind of like that. Looks nice because then we could do like a green trim with this. Do this light green. We're getting somewhere here. I think maybe the walls need to be the full white. Yeah. This could change to brown. Do the same brown for the garage. Let's think about some windows now. I really like that one. What is that? The parenthood? Or is it growing together? It's growing together. Okay, let's do growing together windows. I'm good with that. So this needs to be darker then. The roof needs to be darker. I actually don't hate that. And I, I feel like it needs to be stone. The foundation. Yeah, then we can bring our, our green accents back in. Okay, what color stairs? Oh, the door. Front door. Should the front door be green or should it be brown? What color swatches do we have on this guy? Is that black or brown? Oh my gosh, is that black? Ooh, that's unfortunate. That should have been brown. I mean, I feel like there's no going back now. <laughs> it looks too nice. It's okay, we can fix it with some other stuff. Don't worry. To a really dark brown. Dark brown there to try to tie some of this in. Let's find a column. Let's just do a simple dark column. Kind of starting to tie some of the browns in. <laughs> oh, how did I manage to do that? Whatever. We're just going to say it's a sign from the universe that that's what needed to happen. Okay, we could pull the green up here. Do I like that or should we try to tie in the brown? Yeah, let's, let's, add, let's add some brown. Let's add some more brown. Let's copy the stairs from the front. I think I should do some stone on the chimney column. Maybe this should be stone too. And the garage? I don't like it. Oh, wait. And then, yeah, we could do this little guy too. Just to add again, just like something. And we could do another pillar over here to separate. Okay, like that. Gives it a little more something, something going on. I also feel like this terrain needs to be not this. Okay, that's better. Let's add some plants. Definitely want a fair amount of foliage and trees and stuff. And it's not evermore, so we don't need to do <laughs> the willow. Those are pretty. Yeah, yellows, yellows. Yep, mm -hmm. some whites in there. Yeah, like a hedge of more flowers on the other side. Break on through to the other side. Give it a little extra dimension. Cute. Flooring out here, possibly that. Yeah, I like it. Should we do like a little bench out here? I kind of love this. Wait, this is like super cute. Also loving some sort of like lantern vibe like this. So then we need a pathway leading up. Maybe like the greenhouse papers. Now I want some ivy growing on the house. Yep, 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 yep. All right, we've got little ivy patches, some places, some flower baskets. That's actually kind of the vibe. Yeah, get some extra lights around the garage and then maybe one on the porch. 
In the backyard, I just feel campfire vibes. It's also giving cottage living. Oh my goodness, mushrooms. Gotta have some mushrooms. Some hiding in here. Bench, the green mushy end table. Could put a little picnic basket out here. Maybe underneath this tree, cute. Oh yeah, we gotta have a little gnome guy. Same with a little bunny hiding in there. We do a hanging lamp out here. We should. This sort of guy here. I think I'm happy with that as the exterior. Here's our folklore exterior for our Taylor Swift house. Now, we must enter. And I think I'm going to expand the kitchen. This is our tiny little, tiny little foyer that we got going on in here. Not much space, but we can make it work. I think actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the foyer back so that it meets up with the stairs. And I'm going to drag it back one so that we still have space for the kitchen in here, but the foyer has its own space, and then we'll just do a little archway right here. I like that. All right, let's see what we're going to get for the foyer. Ooh, midnight. Oh, this is going to be fun. Immediately, is there like a star chandelier? This could work if we don't find anything else. Ooh, this. Why is it so long? No, that's too long. That's sad. What about this? We could do the cloud, since it's sort of like the sky, the nights. And we can have the night sky as our flooring. We have to. Now we just have to figure out wallpaper that like matches this color. Lavender haze. We could get behind that. Are there like star wall something? There has to be. I know there is. Floor stars. Ooh, 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 ooh. What is this with the, yeah, okay. It is a suspended star. Hello? Oh my goodness. Ooh, are you kidding me? Hello? I need another suspended stars over here. Beautiful. Okay, what do you even need in a foyer? I don't even care. All I care about is what is that? Oh! Instead of the stars on this wall, we get that on that wall. Beautiful. So now we need what? Like an entryway table to put our stuff on? Sort of navy. Phone and keys. We do a purple. It's not really purple, but close enough. Maybe a little plant. Can I put a record player on here? Technically, no. Move object says yes. Okay, and then we need a rug, an entryway rug. Just add some more navy in there. And I think our little foyer entryway is done. I was sitting here like, why do my eyes hurt? Maybe because you didn't put your glasses on, Chloe. What are we doing for the kitchen, baby? Oh my gosh, it's gonna be a pastel dream. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. Sunflowers, butterflies, and pink. Ooh, this is for sure lovers. Here's where we need to decide. Yellow, pink, or blue. I feel like this is a nice, like, lovers era blue. This is where I could put pink stove. I like that guy. We could do this sink and dishwasher over here. Add another fun color in here. I know there's a pink microwave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, where should the fridge go? Right here. Pink fridge, yellow fridge, blue fridge, new fridge, blue fish, green fish. I like the pink one, but I think for adding more flavors and colors and lovers era, we got to do yellow. Ooh, a trash can. What do I feel like it should go right here? Let's not forget our fire alarm. Thermostat. Okay, what do we do about flooring? Maybe a tile? We could do a pink tile. That is certainly something. Come on, it's lover's era. Okay, so we could do yellow walls or, or we could do some sort of tiling backsplash. Wait a minute. If this does not scream lover's era, I don't know what does. How is that literally perfect? My jaw is on the floor. Okay, but then is the pink tile too much on the bottom? Should I do more of like a yellow? <gasps> Wait. Way, And then I think that would mean pink fridge. I don't hate it. I think it's kind of fun. Let's do it. And now let's add some clutter. I want some hearts. It's like my Valentine's Day build all over again. I'm just going to be screaming hearts. King of my heart. Whoa. This is giving coffee corner. I vibe with it. There is our lover's kitchen. Okay. Let's move on to the dining room space. Let's see what we can do with it. What is our dining room gonna be? 
Red. Okay. All right. Vintage red. Let's do it. For my visual, we've got that space for the dining room. Wood. Redwood. It's not really red enough. This. Or we could do the straight up, like, actual red. <laughs> I feel like this is a little bit better because it's a little more neutral because then we can do red walls. Let's see what options we have. I would like to know how this has red in it. Maybe this one. <laughs> Go home, Sims. You're broken. Maybe doing this kind of guy, because there is a lot of white and black in the outfits that Taylor wears for red. We've got the black in the window, so maybe this lighting. I like this one for a dining room. And I'm sorry, but everything is going to be red going in here. It has to happen. So we either do that or we do this guy. And that just feels, it feels a little too vampiric. Ooh, what if we do this? That's a little better. And it's actual table sized. Cool. And then we can do this to add the white in. I like that. Now let's decorate a little bit. Gotta have a plant. I was like, oh, a little llama on the table. This llama is huge. That was a llama jump scare. <gasps> There's a phone booth. We have to. And then we have some little city decorations and stuff on the table. All right. I would say that is a cute little red dining room. Let's do the living room, shall we? And our living room has the honor of being enchanted to meet you. Yes. <laughs> okay, obviously purple. Duh. Do I want to do like a gray wood? Oh, hello. Good morning. I can kind of go through there too. That's nice and neutral because that then we can do purple on the walls. But it has to be that very specific speak now purple. The trim is kind of bugging me, but I think that I can get over it if I put a pillar between the rooms. Then it's got separation and I don't think I'll care. Wait, we should do that in this corner too. Just to give the rooms a point of separation. The transition point. That's what that's what my brain wanted to say. I couldn't think of the word transition. I know that there has to be a fireplace here. Are there any purple fireplace? There are. Who knew? I honestly kind of like that one. And then we could do the TV over that. We could do this one. And then have the couch like right here. Yeah. Okay. 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 Purple's going to start sounding like not a real word if I keep saying it. <laughs> yeah, because then we still have a hallway walkway there. Okay, what if we don't do purple on the fireplace? I kind of like the little swirly dudes on this. Because it gives the enchanted vibe, right? And then we can do a purple couch. And then the matching love seat. And is there a matching chair for that? It is... So we do that and then put a little end table right there. Then we got to do a giant rug. Spikes enchanted, uh, you know, like this rose. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, I kind of like that. Having the contrast of the two feathers against each other. That's kind of fun. There. Right on the, ooh. I'm a donkey on the edge. And then, oh, if we get a coffee table. Some of this, that's so big. Oh, it's because I still have the purple filter on. I was like, why are there none? Yeah, I like that. Back to the purple plants. Where was it? Oh, it was the orchid. Or kid you not, pot. I wouldn't really call that purple, but I'm okay with it. And that corner right there is telling me that it needs a guitar. The purple butterfly painting? Hello. So purple butterfly painting, I think maybe actually going to the hallway and then this in there. Pretty. We need doors. We got a mud room. I literally know nothing about mudrooms, so I think it's just like a seat and then you have like shoes in there. So what's that going to be? <laughs> Let's find out. Ooh, 1989. Okay. I just realized I haven't put curtains in anywhere that I have built so far. I can just hear the comments now. Chloe, where's your curtains? Chloe, where's your curtains? I'm putting them on there now, so just delete your comments. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. I think that I'm good with carrying the hardwood in here because 1989 has that like silvery blue feel to it. So we're going blue again, but this time it needs to be like the gray, blue, purple green. <laughs> uh, yes, because you all know what that means. Like that. And then apparently there's just a bench in mudrooms that you sit on 
because it's snowy outside or something. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Y'all are going to make fun of me in the comments. I can hear it. I can hear it now. Is that ridiculous? Let's just put some shoe racks in here normally. Yeah. I think that's what mudrooms are. I think that's a mudroom. Is that a mudroom? And we do like some doves and these butterflies for 1989. And we call it good. I'm good with that. Let's do this powder room. Powder room is going to be another folklore. We do have more than 11 rooms too. So having a duplicate is not a big deal right now. I'm thinking of doing something crazy. I'm putting grass in the bathroom. Is that color giving? Yeah. Okay, antique lamp. Yes. Old time antique toilet. Yep, of course. But which one? I like that color. That one or this one? This one. What about a maror? Gotta be the wicker. Okay, so it's gonna be that one plus this one. We gotta have a towel, some toilet paper, of course. So like we've got two options in here. I either put a shower over here or that is overgrown garden inside. Those are our two options. As we can see, I went overgrown garden inside. I think that's so fun. Okay, I guess I can give the garage an era, but it's literally just gonna be cars. What the heck, let's give it an era. Folklore again? Okay. I don't know what folklore did, but apparently it's really just the name of the game in here. Okay, I just dropped some more <laughs> grass in the garage. Threw some debug cars in there. And I think we're going to call it a day in the garage. So that is our downstairs done, I believe. Except we need curtains in these two rooms because of course we do, because... Why would I remember curtains? The kind of sheer vibe works in there. Okay. Yeah, let's head upstairs. I think I'm just going to pull up the Speak Now stuff, uh, mostly because it's open to down there. We need a giant chandelier that goes down there. Something ethereal? Let's just do this. It's fun. I like it. So, which room do we want to start with? I say let's start in this bedroom, and it's kind of small, so I'd say nursery. What era is the nursery going to be? Red. Okay, then. After this, there's four eras that need to get done and one, two, three, four, six rooms that we have left. So we do still have a little bit of wiggle room, but not as much wiggle room. So we're going to have to start skipping and re-rolling to get those eras that we need to do. But that's neither here nor there. Currently, red. We did say nursery, so I like that flooring in here. I don't think this is very soothing for a baby, but okay then. And there is a bassinet that is red. So there we go. We have a rocking chair. We have multiple rocking chairs. Okay, I like this one. Uh, curtains for sure. I'm remembering. I'm remembering curtains. Please clap for me. Thank you. That kind of uh, matches the pattern of the carpet. Yeah, music poster. Okay. I mean, there literally doesn't need to be much in here because it's the, the baby. Babies don't do anything. Just a red rug. This is like, feels like a murder room. We do a lamp back here. I feel like there needs to be something on the walls. Oh, like a guitar, okay. And then there was the other painting I did on the other side. So we, that is better. Oh yeah, let's do our butterflies in here. Do one on each side. This is nightmare fuel, but sure, let's put it in the baby's room. Okay, there's our red nursery. Uh, bedroom number two. You know, let's make this one a kid's room and then this one can be an office and this one can be an office. What are we getting? Good nights. All right. I think we have to do the cloud again. Like it's a kid's room. It feels perfect. I'm sorry, but we have to do it. Wallpaper I want to do different though. Yeah, I like the blue. Okay, wait, curtains. Can the curtains be purple for the lavender haze feel vibe? That's an interesting kind of vibe. I like that. Bed, purple? Can that be purple? We do have this. Oh, this has stars on it though. What if we, okay, let's look in, look in the, oh, that, bleh, 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 bleh. Hmm. With the draping. I kind of like that one. That's a fun little end table for a kiddo. Ooh, yeah, let's put this in the corner. Star blossoms. And I know there's the star lights, the purple ones of those. Oh, a star clock? Perfect for midnights. Perfect. Okay, what else do kids have in their rooms? Oh, we could put a desk over here. A water bottle, yeah. That's just cute. 
Nail polish on a little kid's desk? Yeah, of course. Okay, cool. And then they can do their homework there. And that rug. Let's add some of these in. And maybe one over the bed. Like a cloud over here. I'd say that is a cute little midnight's bedroom. Adorable. All right. Office number one. We only have what, one, two, three, four, five. We only have five rooms left. So we're going to need to start. If this is a dupe, boy, have to skip for the next ones. <laughs> Let's see what the first office is going to be. Is that debut? Oh my gosh, we got a new one. <laughs> Let's go. Immediately country vibes, but like green and blue country vibes. Oh, we are gonna, we have to do this guy. Hello. Why is that chandelier so horribly bright and yellow? No, it has been mixed. Okay, the mason jars is adorable. I think that's perfect. I just need to decide if I want to do the plain plaid or this plaid. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so much. Yeah, I did. No question. Deci decisions decided. And okay, what is so country it hurts? Seaside Cottage. Yes. Beautiful. Yep. Oh, my gosh. S yeah. <laughs> With the typewriter. Oh, goodness. Yep. Mm hmm. We have another guitar in here because this was teardrops on my guitar era. Is this a flower arranging table? That's sure. Why not? This is absurd and I love every second of it. Get some amazing paintings on the wall. Uh, I don't want the flower arranging table in there. It's too much. I do want a fiddle leaf fig in here though. Even though there's zero light, so that makes no sense. I don't care. We have some hanging herbs. Beautiful. Some jars that don't make sense in an office. It's fine. They don't need to make sense. Ooh, wall decorations. Orange squeeze, apple squeeze, and a longhorn between them. Nothing is more country than a longhorn on the wall. And sure, whatever that is. Oh yeah, over here we could have we could have a, a wine rack. Two wine racks. I don't even know what they would do in here. It's so absurd and ridiculous, but I love everything about it. Sure, why not put a saddle in here? Oh yeah, and a basket of cozies for the vibes. Beautiful. Office, debut office, done. Let's move into the other office next. All right, we still need Fearless Reputation and Evermore. So, Lover, oh, so close to Fearless. We'll do Lover this time, and then the rest of the three, we gotta re-roll. Oh, can we do the, yeah, let's, I... We're carrying the lover. It's the lover chandelier. You can't tell me it's not. Oh, we also need an entryway out onto this balcony that I forgot existed apparently and didn't decorate. So that's fun. Can we do like a yellow toned wood in here? Do a blue wood. That's kind of nice. That's even more pastel-y. I like that. So then we can defer to the pink for the walls. I mean, this is the lover's wallpaper we have downstairs, but. This is an office, not a kitchen. We could just do paint and then do some fun stuff like on the walls. So we need a desk I like that with the pink heart chair, cute. This is very lover's era to me. Maybe make it yellow, yeah. Very bubbly, very pastel. Happiness threw up on you. We need, we need sunflowers in here. Yeah, I know there's another sunflower painting somewhere on this wall. Curtains. Oh my gosh, I'm remembering curtains. Everyone stop the presses. It's a miracle. Pink, purple, I don't know. Whatever that is, let's do that. And now over here, can we do an easel? We don't have an easel anywhere yet. And Lover's Era feels very artistic to me, just in general. Okay, what about a rug? I feel like this is a good rug for in here. I just need to, big enough? That's gonna be too big. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think that's fine. Pink computer. Needs to be some more hearts in here. Okay. This on the wall. Cute. This guy. Colors. Do we have rainbow? Yeah. Yeah, we do some more of these hearts. These hearts. <laughs> the neon lamp. Yes. Okay. I think that's a cute little lover's office. Now let's figure out the situation going on out here. More natural wood things. Maybe like a natural log bench. A couple chairs, sort of like this kind of thing. Definitely feeling the vertical garden vibe. 
We could do a telescope. A garden planter up here? I almost feel like there needs to be a rug underneath it, too. This, that, that, that. Yeah, there we go. Add some vibes out there. All right, let's do the laundry room next. So we still need Evermore, Reputation, and Fearless, and it has to be one of those three. A Reputation laundry room. <laughs> now that's going to be interesting. Black, white, and tidbits of red. Okay, there is a black washing machine. So yeah, washer and dryer. I feel like it needs shelving on either side. Maybe counters. White and black. Okay, there we go. Some cabinets. Very modern. This sort of sink thing as well. It just feels appropriate to have in laundry rooms. And we can do a towel next to it. Oh yeah, it's got the red accent too, so that's like perfect. Yeah, storage rack above it. Feels good. I guess we should put wallpaper and flooring. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, yep. Tile for the walls as well. It needs some sort of snake. I can work with snake plant. That, that's, that's fine. All right, there's our reputation laundry room. Master bedroom time. Is it going to be fearless or evermore? Let's find out. Oh, it's going to be evermore. Okay, evermore is like orangey fall plaid. That's what it gives me. So let's make that happen. Let's start with the bed. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like I don't even, like, that's perfect. Yeah, the season stuff is going to be most likely making a large appearance here. This clock on the wall. This is another place that a fiddle is good. Oh, hello? Flooring and wallpapers, maybe? It's a nice wood. Is there a plaid? I think this is more appropriate because it's darker. Yeah, okay. I can go over there. This needs a dresser, kind of like the hutch. And maybe like a vanity over in this corner. That vanity, which I like. Chair. Because Evermore, it makes me want to snuggle up and read a book, you know? So maybe this goes over here. Maybe this side has comfy, cozy chair moment. With the floor lamp, a bookshelf moment. I kind of like this rug. Let's get some curtain action in here. See, and this is why I hate curtains, because you can search for the right ones forever, and none of them ever feel right. And some flowers. Oh, the sunflowers again. Yeah. Pretty. Yeah. We would, like, be perfect. Yes. Okay, I kind of like that. Okay. I think that is going to be our Evermore master bedroom, which means that we inevitably have a fearless master bathroom. Fearless is just, like, gold to me. So I guess... We'll go with yellows. Like that. And Fearless was still sort of country. So I might be able to do something like that. Okay. I don't know if that fits the Fearless vibe. It's a little modern. But I think I can work with it. Maybe toilet over here. Vanity here. Ooh, that's nice and big. I like that. Oh, yes, toilet paper. Can't forget that. Soap. Yellow hand towel is good. Do toothbrush and toothpaste. I want a rug. Let me do a brown of this. Okay, there we go. Now we're starting to tie in the country vibes a little bit. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. I feel like I have to do a clawfoot tub. I feel like it would be weird if I didn't. We can do a shower. Yeah. Yeah, that, that can work. That could work. So then we can put a rug between those two. I tried. The answer is no. The answer is they need their own separate rugs. All right, so we're going to rely heavily on wall art things. See what we can get with that. Okay, that actually fits. Do this. Put a tiny little end table back there. Fearless was stars as well. And maybe a, I mean, the sunflowers again. Oh yeah, there we go. Like that. This can look right there. Bit of sunshine. Okay, that's cute. The star feels, ooh, like a little moth or something? Close to a butterfly, not quite, but like, I think we could make the argument work. Let's put a music record in here and we can do our butterflies one last time. And I'm gonna call it on the fearless bathroom. Oh my goodness, we've done it. You guys, oh, I forgot a chimney. Okay, we have a chimney. Alrighty, so we have our folklore exterior. 
walk in to our Midnight's Foyer and then straight into our Lover's Kitchen, which leads into our Red Dining Room and our Speak Now Living Room, our Folklore Garage, (laughs) and our Folklore Powder Room, our 1989 Mud Room. We're 1989, kind of got chipped in this house. We head upstairs, carried the Speak Now up into this foyer. We have our Red Nursery, a Midnight's Kiddo Room, our Debut Office, our Lover Office, our Reputation Laundry Room, our Evermore Master Bedroom, finishing off, of course, with our Fearless Master Bathroom. And there we have it, y'all. I hope you guys loved watching this as much as I loved building it. I am so happy to be back in my Swifty era. Let me know what your favorite Taylor Swift era is in the comments down below, and also let me know which room was your favorite. Give this video a like if you liked it. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out the next time I upload a video. Until next time, happy simming. Mwah.